Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm sitting in my bedroom, uh, lounging, I guess. Uh, it's Friday and I'm going to try to do uh, a set of five minute edits. I've got five photos that I'm gonna use. I've got the screen recording on the laptop and I'm gonna go through and see how many of these I can finish uh, in five minutes. Um, so I've got the photos set and I'll set them they're in my camera raw already um, so I've actually turned off every one of my edits so everything is basically the way that it, oh, let me just let me just go here and here well that's not the way it was shot but um, yeah so it's set to that custom okay so uh, each one of those is like that <laughs> they're flat they're a little underexposed that kind of stuff so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the next five minutes, I'm going to set a timer, and I'm going to see how many, if I can actually even get through one, but I think I'm going to be able to get through a couple. I don't know that I'll be able to get through all five, probably definitely not all five, but just to kind of show, yes, I'm probably going to be working a little bit faster, but typically my edits don't take that long to edit, and I'm going to try to go through my whole process, the same way that I would do every set of edits in my work. All right, so let me uh, just kind of sit back, relax. I'm going to get my timer started. It's gonna be crazy because I know it's, I know it's gonna go super fast. All right, you ready? Five, four, three, two one go all right so this is the first thing that i do i come through i've got it set to camera neutral um, so i hit my auto and i want to get my colors correct so i'm going to edit my colors i go vibrance and saturation i always go 17 and 4 why i don't know i just feel like it looks good to me so light i'm going to go my color contrast i'm probably going to pull my exposure down a little bit this was shot at night, so I want my darks and my, my shadows and my blacks to be black. Okay, so I've got that one correct. So let's go with this one. Same thing, auto, contrast. Uh, I feel like it's a little bright. I'm going to turn down my highlights, turn down my shadows. Go here. Uh, that looks about right. Color. I want a little bit more warmth in there. Maybe a little bit of that. Let's go here here uh, texture clarity and dehaze I always go 255 I don't know why so that one's good um, let me go back and make sure this one here I want to make sure that this one is fairly straight I think that's right this one here looks about right uh, I don't know it's hard to tell without an actual horizon. Let's see here. Go auto. Definitely she's got a lot of light coming in from camera left. I'm gonna try to pull that up a little bit more though. Um, let's see, let's turn that down. Shadows, I'm gonna get some of that natural shadow back in there. Pull down some of that. I wanna make sure I still got texture in there. Okay, good, got texture in there. Let's see, let's go. Nope, let's give it some more. 17, four, two, and no. If you think that I can actually remember what I had these set to originally, I cannot. I have gone through and color corrected every one of these, but I just randomly pulled out these five images um, to kind of go through the process. Way underexposed, this is with 135 at F2. So let's bump that up, I need that brighter. Get my contrast up. Color looks good right there. Vibrance. Now, I haven't even started editing yet, y'all. This is just correction in Camera Raw. I picked her specifically because I know she's got some acne and I was hoping to be able to try to get through some of the acne in this five minutes, but who knows. Colors look good. Maybe a little bit more warmth. All 
All right, let's get those open. Opening them in Photoshop. Doing this on a MacBook Pro M2 maybe, M3, I'm not sure. Boom, so I know I'm very limited on time. I'm gonna go with this one first. I've got actions set already for face, eyes, and color. Brighten the eyes a little bit. Gonna go with some skin touch up. Using the patch tool. Content aware fill. I can also just click and drag if I need to click and drag. Good. I feel like this one needs to be a little bit brighter and a little bit more punchy. Good, that one's done. I don't need to save it, that'll take too long. Let's see, I'm gonna go to this one here. I know first I gotta get this out of my shop. Content aware fill, nope, wrong thing. I can still get to it. Good, that actually looks pretty good. I'm gonna click and drag this one up there just to make it look like there's still something there. Again, run my actions for face, eyes, and warmth. Brighten the eyes just a touch. Start working on blemishes. And that's my time. Oh my gosh, five minutes goes fast. Five minutes goes fast. So I got one done, I got through five sets of preliminary edits um, and I got one finished and then I was, I'm gonna say halfway done with this one. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this edit just so you can see again the process here. So I was working on the uh, blemishes, right? So I'm using the patch tool we're not selected on the eyes layer we're going to go to content to wear fill fill that that will remove those blemishes for me good 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 uh, let's see let's fix that one oops I still got it set to destination so that's good everything looks good there this one I'm actually gonna do a little bit more of a skin softening on here Kind of cheated i didn't do that on the other one i didn't feel like it needed it this one probably doesn't either this is some of my frequency separation that i've got uh, an action for merge those layers and my contrast boom done so I got this one and this one done. Those are two of my seniors that I've been working with this year, some of my senior models. Uh, so what I will do is I'm gonna save the other three edits for my next um, five minute editing session. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you saw something in there that maybe kind of piqued your interest or like, oh my goodness, how can you do that that fast? Or dude, you're doing this way too slow. Feel free to leave a comment below and let me know. Until next time, keep shooting. Bye.